Hi guys, we are very much excited to show you some of the new car sandbox features that were introduced in release 070. In this release, we took into account numerous community requests and greatly improved the sandbox. For those new to car, the sandbox is a self-contained virtual machine with all car services pre-installed and pre-configured for you. We designed it to jumpstart your familiarization with the platform and offer a hassle-free test drive. So let's start by going to www.carproject.org, then click on the Get Car menu item at the top here. Once the page loads, scroll down to the sandbox image. That will start the download of the image file, which takes about 3 gig and may take a while. I have it already pre-downloaded. You will need Oracle VirtualBox in order to be able to run the sandbox. Once you have that installed, click on the file, select Import Appliance, and locate the file that you downloaded from the carproject.org. Then click on Next, and make sure you have sufficient RAM for the sandbox to run. It will require at least 4 gig of RAM. Now we can start the import. That will take a little bit of time. Once the import is completed, you will see this screen. Before booting up, let's go into settings. So first of all, you should click on the system and switch the processors. You'll see that by default the system only assigns one CPU. You may want to change that. Secondly, go to the network settings. So we want the sandbox to be reachable from the outside network. In order to do so, change the setting to Bridget Adapter and allow the external connections. That's it. Now we are ready to boot. Start the virtual machine and wait until it boots up. Okay, now the sandbox is up and running. We changed the network adapter configuration to bridged mode. So let's now figure out what the external IP address is. In order to do this, press Alt F2, log in with the credentials in the screen, it's KAK, and run if config. It shows the Ethernet 0 internet address 192.168.9243. So let us open the sandbox. 192.168.9243. The port is 8080 and the URL is sandbox. When you load the sandbox for the first time, it will ask you to change the car host name or IP address. You should do that in order to for all the services to be reachable on the external IP address. So hit change and wait until the services reconfigure themselves and restart. Okay, now the sandbox services have been reconfigured and restarted to use the new IP address. Let's close this window and go back to the main screen. Here you see a list of demo apps available in your sandbox. Each application card shows the name of the demo, target platform, and the list of Kaya features it demonstrates. If you're looking for something specific, try the filters on the left. Once you open one of the cards, it shows you the details screen with even more information. Now, here is something you love about the new sandbox. It no longer requires you to build the source code in order to play with some of the apps. Instead, just click on the binary button and it will build an executable for you right away. Let's try it. Once the binary is built, Click OK to start the download. Now that the file is saved, let's run this Java app. So this specific app is the notification demo. It listens to a list of topics that are available from your sandbox. Let's log into the administrative console and send a notification. The 
credentials to use by default in the sandbox are dev user, dev user123. Let's go to the notification demo here. Click on the notification topics. There are two topics in here, so let's just choose one and send a message. Here you go. This is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you at kaproject.org and make sure to chime in on our forum. Thanks. Bye.